Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel, Rich43. Now, this week, I think it's been about a week since I last posted something to do with this thing here, which we've even got DMC. Let me zoom in on that. Yeah, can you see that? Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel, Rich43. Now, this week, I think it's been about a week since I last posted something to do with this thing here, the DeLorean from Back to the Future 1, 2 and 3. Yeah, but welcome back to the channel, Rich43. Today, we're going to be looking at this DeLorean model 1.8 scale. Uh, I think, don't quite me, it's been a few years now, it's about 130 issues, which we'll go into that in later videos. Um, we're going to be looking at the front end of it. Uh, I'm going to be telling you what it does um, and what we'll do each week. We'll work through the rest of the car um, and discuss all the little gizmos and why it does and what it was like to build, etc. And exactly what the materials are out of, um, how it was put together. But what I'm going to do, like I've just, I don't know if I've just mentioned it all in the last video, I'm going to do it in sections of the car. So we're going to do the front section here. And then we'll do the middle section, which is where all obviously the the buttons are for like turn on the lights, etc., and all the gimmicky stuff. And then right at the back end, we've got the engine um, and the diffuser, everything, what all that what fits on at the back of the um, DeLorean model. Um, we'll look in the interior of the car. Um, I'll try and show you underneath the car. That's going to be very difficult. I don't know if you can tell by watching this video how big this thing is. I'm gonna set I'm about six foot two. And if this is um, do no justice, but that's how big that is. My arm here it's big as my arm maybe. It, it's big. Um I think it's about over 30 centimetres long, 32 centimetres long. It's mainly metal. You've got the subframe, the main frame of the car, that was metal. Um, that come in two parts. You've got the shell of the car then, which was like a black steel casing um, shell, which I think I've got some photos of that. I can post them up as well, just to, to, sh to show you how it looked uh, before all the, the panels was on. Because basically what you've got is you've got the shell, the black shell underneath the whole car, which is obviously under the wings, all around the front on the front chassis. And then it goes, like the skeleton goes round here and then you put the glass window in and obviously basically the panels then fit you've got the bonnet here put this up which i'll show you closer in a minute guys um you've got this front panel here as you can see the lines there i will show you closer up as i say in a minute i'm just going to quickly briefly go through it like why i'm not holding the camera um you've got the headlamps they slot into so basically what you've got you've got the shell and these parts, what we've got on the front here, you've got the splitter, then you've got this section here, let me just say, this section here, which screws on to the front of the shell, and then you've got the bonnet here, which again, I'm gonna talk more about that in a minute, guys, because I can explain it better. So basically then, you've got the shell, you've got that what bolts onto the front of the shell, or screws on, you've got like little, um, IP screws, I think it was called, and BM screws, but going to metal. A quick one about that, guys, as well. When you're screwing, if you do this model, any model, if you're screwing screws into metal, which I've found out now, and I watched Will DeWayne, I don't know if you've heard him on YouTube, check him out, he's built this as well, so you might be able to see how he built through all the stages of this, because obviously I wasn't doing YouTube when I built this. That's why I ain't got no footage of me building it weekly. I wish I did. I know there's no way I'm going to take this apart. I would love to, but if you watch Will the Wayne and see what he goes through, 
I went through near enough the same building. It, it was bad at times. Um, it was like you literally blood, sweat and tears. You sweated, you bled because you cut your fingers on things. I've jumped the gun here a bit, but with screws, to what I found out is when you're screwing into metal, which you may already know, um, put a bit of oil on a little bit. Perhaps put some oil in in a cart and a little little lid off the WD forty can. Bit of oil gives you loads of lubes going, and you you save your hands. That's for sure. Because in the beginning, and I think World of Wayne would say the same. If you check his channel out, guys on YouTube, you'd screw the screw that hard. It won't go in because it's it, it as if it had to thread the screw in. Whereas when you put a bit of oil on it, it gave it a lot more lube to get in. It was a lot more easier. If I'd have known that when I was building this thing a few years back, that would have saved me a lot of blisters on my hands, etc. And slipping, like, because they, they rounded the screws because they won't go in and you cut your hands and all that sort of fingers. Nothing serious, obviously, but it was just an asshole. But yeah, apart from that, though, it's been a good build. And obviously I've gabbled a bit too much now about what I'm going to be doing. I mean, I don't want to overload you with too much stuff. Um, what I'm going to be doing week to week, we'll just take it by section because there is loads what to do with this car, what I've done basically on it. Um, I've done a few mods, uh, which again, we'll go into that when I come to it. And when I come to the mods on the car, I'll tell you what I've done. I think there's somewhere on YouTube, my claim as well, where you can buy extras for this car. Um, check him out. I mean, some people on YouTube, if you check the DeLorean builds out, they've done a lot more than I've done. But I didn't want to do too much on it, to be fair. Um, I wanted to keep it a bit basic, but then just put them little tweaks. For example, which I'll show you in a minute in the front of the bonnet. Um, I put some carpet in um, and in the interior, in the cockpit of the car. But again, we'll come to that in future weeks when I show you. Because jumping the gun a bit, but... If you don't put carpet in there, all you've got then is like a plastic floor and it don't look very um, realistic, should I say. It's just like plastic and I wanted to make it a bit more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Real, if that makes sense. Like, So there's carpet on the floor like a real car would. I mean, you can get mats for it, guys. If you look at the right plug, Mike Lane, I think he does the extras like mats. You can get actually DMC mats. Which again, one day I might do that if I did, I'll let you know and I'll post it. At the minute, I've not got mats. But anyway, I'm jumping the gun again here, going to the middle of the car. What we're going to do today is look at the front of the car and I'll explain what things do, etc. Um, and then we'll go from there. Right, so I do hope you enjoy this video, guys. Please, if you love the DeLorean, if you love the 80s film Back to the Future 1, 2, and 3, please smash that like button and please subscribe to the channel not to miss out any more videos on this wicked model 1.8 scale build the delorean and um, i think you can still buy this and um, you can still get some subscription i'm not sure if you can get it all in one pack maybe you might be able to comment down below if you can i think you might be able to you've obviously got to pay a lump sum of money for it or you can have it on subscription this is from eagle moss um, which is what i did around 40 pound a month but bear in mind, guys, you're going to have, um, unless you cancel the binders, you're going to have binders coming through every now and again. So that bumps up the, the price. Um, let me think. Yeah, and then later down the line, which again, that's way down the line, the wheels you get, you have to pay extra for those as well, which there was a big OR about that when that happened. Um, there was a lot in, on the community saying, why should we have to pay extra for the wheels? How much money we put into this car? Um, but yeah, that's I'll talk about that further down in future videos. Like what I'm on about is the wheels from Back to the Future Three, the white and red wheels, um, and the railway wheels as well. Which I've, again, I'll put that on a future video. I might leave the wheels to last, to be fair, and then we'll show how they go on and off the vehicle. That's another story in itself. <laughs> Basically, the bolts what hold the wheels very temperamental and i don't want to break them and have no wheel on the car if that makes sense but yeah those wheels basically you get these wheels here which i'll show you in a minute they're standard with the the pack what you get from in the issues every week but as i've just said the back to the future three wheels with the red and white trim on there and the railway wheels you had to pay extra for them they asked you first they sent an email or a letter with the, the issue you was doing before and saying if you would like these wheels please 
subscribed to them in a way or asked for them and you had to pay an extra fee for them. But again, it was worth it, guys. It was worth getting the whole pack of it, if that makes sense. If you've gone that far to build this DeLorean, a 1.8 scale, about 25, 26 pound in weight, heavy, it's heavy. I've got it in my dining room, which you might have seen on the last few videos I've done in there, maybe but in the background. I hardly move it because I'm that scared of it dropping or breaking something on it because it's that heavy and the wheels, they're holding that much weight because of the weight of the car, which is a good thing to be heavy because it's, it's good quality, guys. It's wicked quality. Um, I try not to move it a lot. I forgot where I was in trying to thought now. You know what? I'm going to stop gabbling because I could, I could, I've got that much stuff in my head. I want to tell you about this, this build, guys. I'm going to be keep throwing stuff at you and you're going to be just going, whoa, your brain's going to be overload. So I think what the best thing we can do after that long introduction, what is it? Nine minutes, 10 minutes introduction. What I'll do is I'll show you around the front of the car now, give you a quick little brief what happened. And then hopefully if I can find some batteries, I'll, I'll light it up for you and show you what works on the front end of this 1.8 scale DeLorean from Back to the Future, one, two, three. So yeah, sit back guys, relax. Hope you enjoy this video. And please, if you do enjoy it or you would love to build this um, model and you love the 80s movies and you love seeing this build here, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, support the channel. Um, and then hopefully I can bring more models to the channel in future months and you can come along and join with me and see the build of whatever I'm going to be building. So yeah, without further ado, let's crack on and have a look at this beast. Right guys, this is the front end of the DeLorean, the 1.8 scale model. As I've said just earlier in the video, you've got a splitter here, which is made of plastic, and you've got a mesh grill stood underneath there and if you can see just about under there hang on a sec let's see if i can bring this light down for you there we go if you can see under there that is the roll bar and as you can see that is all steel guys under there the, they didn't spare on the build of this to be honest the quality that's one thing i can say and i'll show you under there the suspension that in a sec once we've done all the front end but yeah, you've got that plastic splitter there. Um, just bear with me, see if I can... I need to get a better light on this, to be fair. If I hold that there. Yeah, you've got that sp plastic splitter, then you've got the mesh there, and then you've got this bumper. And beyond there, you have got the blue time traveling light, as you can see. Now, that was one of the mods I did I, mean, I don't know if you can see that, yeah, there. I brought that off eBay. It's like a UV light sort of thing, like a strip. I don't know what they're called. It's not a UV light, but I think you know what I mean. What's it called there? Neon strip lights, I think they're called. You have to get the right um, thickness, which is a couple of millimetres, I think, and obviously the right length. I put that on this vehicle, and I think a few other people did, because what um, the build supplied... They supplied you the same thickness of um, wire. I'm going to call it wire for now because I can't think what it's called. And what happened is you'd put that into there, the wire. And then, story short, it was wired into the electrics inside the car. Now, the thing is, what was the problem with that? You had little bulbs in here. What then would, like, shine the light off the bulb. And that would be a clear strip, not blue like that. It would be clear. And then... The only thing he was getting, you was getting a lot of light bleed and it would only light up to around there. Now that didn't look very good when you lit it up, if you get me. When you, once, you put, once you put the lights on, you want all that to light up, like when it's travelling through time on the film. So what a lot of people have done, which you can check out on YouTube, I'm sure you'll find some somewhere as well. We brought this neon strip light in and it's hard to explain. What I've had to do is wire it from one end would you get a battery box thing? I've got two seconds, which is here. And basically, story short, guys, that lights up all around the car. You just have to do a few mods, that's all. You can take the bulbs out, snip the wire, which is coming from the main box in the car. So you're not using them bulbs, basically. I hope I'm making sense here because I'm gabbling a bit off, off, off piece there. But yeah, story short, the bulbs, what you use, what you get with the build, if you're not going to use them, cut the ends off, the bulbs off, you're not going to use them, obviously. 
put a bit of tape on because you don't want to get it shorted on the vehicle because it's steel, metal. Um, and then with these wires, which you'd know further down the line when you're building what I mean then, what you can do then is put it a loop in there, it's looped, and then you go all around the car, if you know what I mean, and then it goes, it basically does a loop from there. So you do a little loop in the wire, and then you've got two there, two strips of wire, which is underneath as well. You can't properly see that. Yeah. Now, I'm trying to get the camera, but you can't see. If you look from the top, can you just about see in there? There's a top line and a bottom line. Loop there, take that two feed round, and then it'll go up that side of the vehicle and this side of the vehicle. And basically it's going all around where these steel um, mesh lines are, where it would have to be. It's, it's easy to explain if you're looking at the instructions. Basically you just put the wiring where you would have um, the wiring given with the build. But obviously I'm just modding it a bit and it looks a lot better guys. It, it makes it pop, I'm telling you that now. So yeah, I've, I've gone off a bit of it. <laughs> anyway, that's for the wiring, for the time traveling lights. You got these headlamps, they light up. Again, all this is turned on from inside the vehicle. Um, buttons will turn the lights on. You got the time traveling lights what come on. All this is steel as well, guys. Yeah, so that's the lighting. Now these bits here, these are glued in because they get popping out. But this is what sort of build it was, guys. If you can see this wiring here, now, you would probably think that'd come like that. No, <laughs> you won't. Basically, what you had to do, and it took a few issues, you had to thread them round, like in a, a rope fashion, so they look like that. And then you'd have to put that in that section there, which was glued in so it didn't come out. And then it'd go around the car, that wiring wood. And then basically, it goes into these exhaust sills here which are just pushed into there and that's the end of it. So from there to there, from there to there, that was one piece of wire, if that makes sense, threaded with about three or four different colours of wire. And you had to do that on both sides and at the back there, which again, we'll come to that in a later later video. So yeah, you've got the, the front wing and the Goodyear Eagle GT wheels here at the front end on the front left. Now these guys, they put so much quality into these as you can see. I hope it shows on the video. They even got the exact same tread what they used on the vehicle in the movie. Can you just see that there? You can see that tread. It's not just a gimmicky tyre that, it's actually proper rubber I think as well. You can tell by looking at it. I hope you can on the video. But they got the exact tread, so it looked exactly the same. You've got these little centre caps, which have even got... DMC, let me zoom in on that. Yeah, can you see that? DMC, and then you've got the wheel. These were simple to put together, obviously just putting the tire on top of the wheel. Look at the quality, guys, if you can see that there. It looks like a real tire, a real wheel. So yeah, that's the wheel. And we've done the lighting, we've done that rope and what was around that wing, which is obviously the same on the other side. So I'm not going to go on to the side and show you. I can show you the side, but there's no point going into detail because obviously it's the same duplicate. What we did on this side, do on that side. And as I said earlier in the video, it's all got a main shell made out of steel. And then all these panels are bolted onto it, screwed onto it, sorry. So you've got the wing here. As you can see. Put the that was screwed from the inside onto the shell. So basically that was an empty shell and then you screwed that onto the ins um, from the inside of the shell to attach that to the, the the shell of the car. Same as we did with the front and the grill obviously that's screwed on as well. And then you've got the bonnet, which again, that's made out of steel. If you can see there, that's inside of the bonnet. That's like a skeleton shell to make it strong, make the bonnet strong. You've got the little piston things here. Now these guys, if you're wondering what these are for, these are to strap on. Let me show you, wherever I've put it, two seconds. Hang on, sorry guys, I'm just getting it from over there. 
this thing, which you'll notice out of Back to the Future 3, which goes on the front of the bonnet. But again, I might leave that to a later video and we'll just concentrate on this for now. In the front of the drawer here, you can see we've got the spare wheel. And what I've done is I've put carpet in here, as I mentioned earlier, inside the cockpit as well. Because all that is is black plastic and it does not look um, very effective at all. It just looks a bit plasticky and cheap and it, it doesn't deserve to look like that with the amount of money you're spending on this car, guys, on this model. Battery's low on my, my phone, I've just noticed. Brilliant. <laughs> and then you've got the window wipers here. Let's shut this bonnet down. If you can hear the quality, listen. Metal. It's very heavy. Very heavy and good quality, guys. You've got the window wipers here. They don't move. All the are is pushed into a little pinhole there, and that's it. And I'm not going to go into this, but you can see the detail here as well, guys, inside. I really hope you're enjoying this video, guys. I don't know if I'm pointing it across good or I'm gabbling too much. I'm just that excited about it. I still get that feeling when I look at it every morning or every afternoon, whatever, when I go into the dining room and I see it. It's just so cool. So cool. Right, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just put this back in the cradle phone so i can show you what it looks like with the wheel up um it goes in like when the car flies in back to the future too and then we'll have a little talk about inside there again i'm only going to this side guys i can show you the other side but there's no point talking about the other side because it's, it's symmetrical it's exactly the same a lot with the wings on both sides and the wiring it's all exactly the same and then the blue uv light because i know this video is very long at the minute and obviously I don't you get bored and I want you to like watching these videos. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna pause the video for two seconds and get the, the stand so I can lift this wheel up for you. All right guys, hope you're enjoying this video of the recap of Build the DeLorean on a 1.8 scale. Well, as I'm editing the video now, I've just cropped this into the, the, the first part of this video um, uh, for the Back to the Future model. I've decided I'm gonna make this part one, what you've just watched. And then tomorrow I'm going to post part two um, of what I've just been on about on the video. And you'll see that in part two. As this is about 20 minutes long, this first half. And I think it might be a bit long if I put all the rest of the other half of the video into one video. And I don't get involved, guys. I know we've all got busy lives. And I, I prefer to be relaxed and chilled and watch the video in your own time when you can. And it don't take too much of your day. I just want to have a little part of your day just to watch my videos and my channel. I hope you enjoy them. I don't want to take too much of your time. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this video in half. So the bit you've just seen, obviously, about 20 minutes long. I hope you enjoyed it. And then the other half is going to be out tomorrow. Um, when I've edited these and put them up, when you're watching these, it's obviously going to be Saturday because I'm going to put it out Saturday. And then Sunday, I'll do part two for you. And so you've had... Um, a back to the Future weekend and then maybe watch the movie or something on the night time, maybe <laughs> Back to the Future 1, 2, 3, it might get you um, into the, the mood of wanting to buy this model and you wouldn't go wrong guys, if you buy this model, brilliant, it's a good model, obviously I've said in the video previously, um, it's blood, sweat and tears guys, you will actually sweat, <laughs> if, if you're in a cold room you'll be sweating because you want to do your best to get this model built. Um, You'll cut your fingers. Hopefully you won't, but I would have thought you'll nip your fingers or something. It's, it's just part of building, obviously, but this model does test you at times. But, guys, if you do take on this model, please, please, please stick with it. Don't be scared of it, even though it sounds like I'm trying to get... No, it's a good model, guys, but it's just tough at times. I mean, this DeLorean model... I'm gabbling again on our bottom tray. <laughs> this, this DeLorean model I built was the first model I ever built. I got the idea from watching Will Wayne, who's on YouTube. Check him out, guys. Um, I watched him build it. I thought, I want to do that. So I went ahead, did it. Don't regret it. But as I said, just stick with it, guys. Be confident, be positive. You will get the build done. You will have ups and downs. And like any model, there'll be easy issues. There'll be bad issues. But yeah, I'm not going to go on anymore because this video will start being another 20 minutes again. And that's the idea of putting this little interlude bit in just to break the, the video up into two parts. So it's easyable, watchable, and it doesn't take too much of your day up. Because I know we've all got busy lives, guys. Anyway, so you've watched the first part today, which is Saturday now. Uh, part two will be out tomorrow. 
um, and then as soon as I can edit and make another video of the DeLorean 1.8 scale from Back to the Future for you, I will do. I'm trying to get them out weekly for you, so I'll keep you in the loop of, and keep you watching it. And I, I sounds like I'm begging, for, you know what I mean. I'm trying to get them out weekly for you, so it's a consistency, and you can um, you can watch what was involved and what the end result of it is. I mean, coming in part two tomorrow. It's going to be lighting the lights up, the time travel lights, um, and I'll put the wheels up for you, like you see Back to the Future too. So that's a little teaser for you tomorrow. So yeah, if you if you subscribe, guys, press the all bell notification so you don't miss any videos. There, especially this video, these videos I'm doing on the DeLorean. Press that bell, and you won't miss anything then. What's coming up? And if you want to watch it, you can watch it. If not, don't watch it. But hopefully, you'll watch it. And please. Give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, comment and share just to support the channel, support me. I love doing these videos, guys, and I appreciate the subs I've got so far and the views I'm getting. But, yeah, please support me um, and let me do what I like doing, which is obviously, if you want to call it entertainment or taking your, your mind off life for a couple of minutes a day, 20 minutes in this case, whatever it's been, um, and showing you... A bit into my life so what i'm doing with models and that and as i've said in previous videos i keep saying this i've got a lot more models that i want to build for you so you can come along with me you check me out first and then obviously if it's in for you you know not to buy the model or if there's anything i make mistakes with at least you can see that i've made the mistakes and you can veer away from making that mistake um yeah before i go though check will the way now because he has got, I think, um, I can't remember the amount of videos he did with the DeLorean build, but if you want to check him out actually building it and see the ups and the downs of building this DeLorean, um, check him out, Will Wayne. Perhaps give him a mention that I passed you over to him, Rich43. Um, we'd like to all stick together in this community. Um, so, yeah, check out his channel, Will Wayne. Um, there's another guy, Back to the Movies, as well. He built it. You could check him out. Because I know you're never going to be able to see me build it, guys. It's just a recap. This is just a bit annoying. But one, I ain't got the funds to buy it all again and do it. I wish I could and go through all that madness again. And obviously, I'm not going to take it all apart to rebuild from scratch. Because I don't think that would be possible anyway. Um, but yeah, if you want to see it being built, guys, after you've watched the recap of what I'm doing and showing you what it does and what you get with the build, and what you can do with it and buttons, gizmos and all that stuff. Like I said, if you want to see it being built, check out World of Wayne, back to the movies as well. That's another YouTube channel, back to the movies. Check out those two guys and those two channels. Give them a mention that Rich43 passed you over to if you want in the comments. Get us floating about YouTube land. And I want to do the best then I can bring you with models, the Z900s, uh, travels, and then entertain you as much as I can. But I'm going to go because I've been doing six minutes now on this outro. So now you're probably eating 25 minutes, guys, on this first part of the DeLorean recap. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to keep it that long. It's just when I get talking, I love talking to you guys. I'm going, back to about to die again. I love talking to you guys. It gives me a sense of a good well-being. It takes me away from the real world. Um I didn't think I was going to be able to do this at first when I started my channel off, but now as I'm getting that momentum, I'm loving it. Knowing that people are watching me doing my builds, I'm going on now. I'm not going to say any more because I'll be another five minutes and this video is going to be longer than what I wanted to be because I just wanted to shorten it for you, as I've said previously, earlier, earlier in the video. So yeah, guys, I appreciate if you've watched this long now and you've got to this part of the video. Uh, have a good weekend it's Saturday now when you're watching this video so have a good rest of the weekend please like subscribe comment down below to support the channel and press that bell notification not to miss any more videos and not to miss tomorrow's part two of the build the delorean it's all right I'm thinking part two but really it's part three because last week we did part one with the plutonium box and um, the number plate have a look back in the videos guys if you want to see that um, if you subscribe, you'll you'll see it or look through my channel. You'll find it in the playlist. Um, so yeah, this is really part three. So part one was last week. This is part two that you just watched now on a Saturday, and then let's just say part two B, and then part three will be next week because I've split this in half for you. Right, I'm not going to keep you any longer, guys. If you've watched this long, 
please comment down below and let me know if you watch right to the end of the video because fair play to you if you have and i do hope you've enjoyed the video so you know what to do for me please i'll see you the next one see you guys peace